Previously on Etsy, if you wanted to search for a bestseller or for bestsellers, all you had to do was type in the search engine here, the search um, keywords, and then go to all filters and then boom, bestseller was there. You could just click that filter, apply, and then all of the listings were bestsellers. It made trend research a cinch. It was so easy. Unfortunately, Etsy has taken that away. That is no longer available. However, there are workarounds to still find bestsellers. So in today's video, I'm going to show you guys exactly how you can still do trend research on Etsy and look for bestsellers, even though this, is, this filter is now gone. Hi, welcome to my channel. My name is Angel. I am a wife and mama of two amazing kiddos, a full-time Etsy seller, now Etsy print and demand coach, here to give you all the tips and tricks to help you to be successful on your own Etsy print and demand journey. Uh, make sure to check out below. I have a free Etsy print and demand starter guide, and don't forget to subscribe for more videos. Finding bestsellers on Etsy is a really important part of trend research because it gives us a, a good idea of what people are actually actually searching for and buying on Etsy so that we can apply those trends to our um, niches. Um, it reverse engineers the search, search volume, which is what you need to know in order to be successful on Etsy. All right, so let's go ahead and jump in here. So once again, today I'm going to be going over how to find bestsellers on Etsy. Um, and then I'm also going to show you guys Everbee, a tool, a Chrome extension tool that I use to also uh, do trend research on Etsy. It makes uh, finding bestsellers really easy as well. All right, so let's jump in here. So I have a really broad search term here. It's Valentine's Day gift. It's very competitive. As you, see, as you can see, it's over a million uh, search results. So anything that is, you know, um, ranking on this page, is we kind of have a pretty good clue that's going to be a bestseller because in order to rank for these competitive, this competitive of search terms um, on Etsy, you would really need to be selling, um, you know, have, have a lot of the high volume of sales in order to just rank on this page. And now I do sell um, apparel and so that's kind of what I'm more so looking for. Um, but if you find something that applies to your niche, niche, niche then you could kind of check that out. Now some um, listings will have the popular now badge. That's a good indication that that is likely a bestseller. So if I were to click on that, we can see here that this is a best-selling listing. However, all because an item or a listing doesn't have that badge doesn't mean it's not a bestseller. So to see if it's a bestseller, then I could click on this listing and we can see that this is a bestseller. Another good indication if, uh, about whether or not um, how, how trending an item is on Etsy is whether or not it's showing how many people have the item in the cart. So if you see a listing that has 10 plus in the cart, 14 plus, you know, 20 plus in the cart, that's a good indication that people are buying and looking for those keywords right now, okay? So they're buying these types of products right now on Etsy. All right, so another way to do trend research on Etsy is using the Everbee Chrome extension. This is something that you can integrate right into your Etsy account. And you just would hit product and, uh, analytics. And then I personally really like to search by estimated sales. And then boom, you can see right here the top sellers on Etsy right now. So for example, I sell apparel, so this would be really you know of great interest to me. This one has sold over 23,000 times um, total sales. That's the estimated total sales. Um, and then last month, they've re they estimate that this um, seller has, has made over um, $89,000 in revenue. So that's just revenue, just so you know. So we don't have, we we're not sure exactly what their profit margin was because um, that's not taking into consideration um, their cost for shipping materials, etc. But then I would go down here and take a look to see um, if there are any other niches that apply to me specifically. And then I would kind of take a look at those listings to see if there are any um, bestsellers that um, can kind of inspire my products, my niches, um, my designs. So I hope that this was really helpful for you guys today. If it was, please uh, drop a comment below um, in the comment box. And then if you guys have any other um, requests, video requests, or have any questions, be sure to ask those below as well. I hope this was really helpful for you and I will see you guys in the next video. I am linking um, another video, a design tutorial that I recently did um, all about how to make a retro design on Canva. So be sure to check that out.